So this is the Garmin R10 launch monitor. It is by far one of the most popular launch monitors around, coming in at a little under $600. Now, it gives all kinds of information on ball launch conditions, ball speed, spin, carry, and a whole lot more. And you can even use this little guy as an indoor golf simulator. Now, there are a few golf apps that can be used with the Garmin R10. This includes both E6 Connect and Awesome Golf. But which one gives us the most accurate numbers? Well, in today's video, we're gonna find out. We put the Garmin R10 to the test up against this $50,000 professional indoor golf simulator to see which golf app gives us the most accurate numbers. So let's get to it. Before we do the test, there's four steps we need to do to help ensure that the Garmin R10 is the most accurate that we can make it. Now, the first thing you have to do is make sure that the Garmin R10 is up to date. One is through the Garmin Golf app. The Apple update software updates automatically behind the scenes when the Garmin R10 is connected to your mobile device. Now, the second way you can do this is using the Garmin Express program through your computer. Now, all you have to do is download it from the Garmin website and then connect your Garmin R10 to the software and it'll automatically update the software inside the Garmin R10 each time you connect to it. So once the Garmin R10 has been updated, the next thing you're gonna to want to do is make sure that the unit is calibrated. Now, a lot of people don't calibrate the unit before each and time they use it, and it's really easy to do. So all you're gonna do is to go into the Garmin Golf app, go to device calibration, and then calibrate the Garmin R10. This usually takes anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute, and once calibrated, you know the Garmin R10 is internally ready to go. Once you have the Garmin R10 updated and the unit's been calibrated, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the Garmin R10 is set up in the right location. For indoor use, you're gonna to need to have the ball at least eight feet away from the net or screen. Now, 10 to 12 feet is usually recommended, which that means that the unit would be another six to eight feet from behind the ball. Garmin recommends that it's usually around seven feet to get the best information. So in today's video, we're gonna be checking out the awesome golf app against the E6 Connect app. In order to get the E6 Connect app, all you have to do is go to the app store on your iOS or Android device, type in the words E6 Connect in the search term box, and then once located, download the app to your device. Now, once you've downloaded the app, you will next need to open the Garmin app itself. That's right, the Garmin app, and scroll down to where it says E6 Connect. Tap the screen, and then scroll down a little bit where you'll see a special code. Tap the code, and then it'll copy it. Now, you go ahead and open up the downloaded E6 Connect app, Enter the code that you just copied, and now your Garmin R10 should be connected to your E6 Connect, and you're ready to play. In order to get the Awesome Golf app, all you have to do is go to the App Store on your iOS or Android device. Then type in the word Awesome Golf in the search box above. Once you've found it, go ahead and click Download the app. It should take about maybe 30 to 45 seconds for the app to download. Once Awesome Golf is downloaded, the next thing you're going to want to do is open the Garmin Golf app and make sure the Garmin R10 is connected to your R10 device. Then open the Awesome Golf app. And it'll ask you what kind of launch monitor do you want to use. Here you can pick FlightScope or Garmin. I would choose Garmin since we're using a Garmin R10. Then it's going to ask you how you want to connect. And I usually do that via Bluetooth. And then you should be able to find your Garmin R10 and you're ready to play. So now we know how to correctly set up the R10 to get accurate numbers. Let's do a little test to see which golf app, either the E6 Connect or Awesome Golf, gives us the most accurate numbers when hitting indoors. And to do so, we're going to be comparing it to this $50,000 professional indoor golf simulator. So I'm going to do a little practice session. I'm going to hit three clubs, my seven iron, my pitching wedge, and my driver. And we're going to see which golf app is the best to use with the Garmin R10. So with this first shot with a seven iron, the awesome golf app was showing 153 yards of carry, while the simulator showed 156 yards of carry. And then lastly, the E6 Connect showed 155 yards of carry. So really, it's about a one yard difference between the E6 and the Sim, and about a three yard difference with the Awesome Golf. So in this round, the E6 takes it. On the second shot with the seven iron, the E6 Connect was showing 164 yards of carry, while the simulator showed 163.3 yards of carry, so a difference of about one yard, while the Awesome Golf app was showing 163 yards of carry on the dot. So for this round, I would say Awesome Golf takes it, but they're all within less than a yard, which just blows my mind. On this third and final shot with the seven iron, the Awesome Golf was showing 154 yards of carry, while the simulator showed 151.4 yards of carry, so about 2.6 yards difference. Now, on the other hand, the E6 showed 153 yards of carry, and that's about a 1.9 difference uh, in carry. So for this third and final round, the E6 takes it again. 
On this first shot with the pitching wedge, the Awesome Golf app was showing 125 yards of carry, while the simulator was showing 122.3 yards of carry, so about a difference of about 2.7 yards. While on the other hand, the E6 Connect was showing 124 yards of carry for a difference of about 1.7. So for this first round, again, the E6 takes it. On this second shot, the Awesome Golf was showing 109 yards of carry, while the simulator was showing 101.6 yards of carry, so a difference of about 7. 0.4 yards while on the other hand the e6 connect was showing a carry of 106.3 so a difference of about five yards so for the second round the e6 takes it again for this third and final shot the awesome golf was showing 107 yards of carry while the sim showed 102.9 so for a difference of about 4.1 yards but on the other hand, the E6 is showing 102.3, which is 0.6 difference from the simulator, which is less than a yard. And it just blows my mind how accurate the E6 Connect is. And for this third round, the E6 takes it. On this first shot with the driver, the Awesome Golf app showed 212 yards of carry, while the sim showed 210.9 yards of carry. So a difference of about 1.1, while the E6 Connect showed 211.3 yards of carry so less than half a yard so 0.4 i mean it just blows my mind this is off by 0.4 yards it's just crazy how accurate the e6 is on the second shot of the driver the simulator showing 218.6 yards of carry while the e6 connect showed 232.3 so a difference of about 14 yards while on the other hand the awesome golf showed a carry of 214 yards so a difference of 4.6 so on this one it looked like the e6 you know loses it to the awesome golf because the awesome golf is off by about 4.6 yards and i'm a little surprised it was off by this much on the second shot with the e6 but let's go on to the next shot on this third and final shot the driver the Awesome Golf app was showing a carry of 220 yards, while the Sim showed a carry of 217.1 yards, so a difference of about 2.9 yards. While on the other hand, the E6 Connect showed a carry of 217 yards, so a difference of 0.1. That is just insane. It's almost the exact same number. So for this last shot, you know, E6 definitely takes it for the driver. And I'm just, I'm actually just blown away. So to recap, you know, with a seven iron, the Awesome Golf app won one of the rounds, while the E6 won two of the rounds. And so all in all, I mean, they're both extremely accurate and we're coming down to just, you know, less than a yard kind of difference in terms of numbers. But for the seven iron, the E6 definitely takes it. When we get to the pitching wedge, again, the E6 wins every one of the shots. They're much closer than the Awesome Golf. But again, we're talking about less than a couple yards in each shot. So we're really kind of getting down to the nitty gritty here. And then lastly, the driver just, it kind of blew my mind. You know, we had one shot there with the E6 where it was off by about 14 yards. But then the very next shot, it was within 0.1. So again, the E6 wins two of the three shots versus the awesome golf. So I guess the real question is what's the best golf app out of these two? And there's pros and cons to both. I mean, the con to awesome golf is you gotta pay extra money each year to use it, but it has a ton of functionality and it can be used both of the Garmin R10 as well as FlightScope products. Now on the other hand, the E6 Connect is free. Um, you get a couple courses with that. You get the driving range for free and it's just super accurate. So if you're looking to save some money, I would go with E6 Connect. Um, if, but if you're looking to get more numbers and a little more functionality, I'd go with Awesome Golf. But I think it really comes down to price and what you know you as a player wants to spend on the app. And for me, I'm gonna use both. I use the free version of E6 Connect and the paid version of so Awesome Golf. So big thanks to our friends Indoor Golf Design for letting us use an amazing simulator. And to be honest, I am just blown away by the Armin R10. I mean, it's within five yards of this 50,000 Indoor Golf Simulator. It's crazy what this little unit can do. I'm really impressed with this device and I'd recommend to any of you guys out there looking for an affordable launch monitor that won't break the bank that you can use indoors and as a simulator this off season. Now, I got mine from our good friends at playbetter.com. They're huge supporters of our show and of our community. So there's links down below to the Garmin R10. But if you guys are looking to see how our comparison was for the Garmin Golf app versus Awesome Golf, then check out this video right here where we put them to head to head against the $50,000 indoor golf simulator. And I'll see you in the next video.